is on beats boy what up team so I have an article here from boxing scene I'll leave in the description you read it come to your own conclusions as usual but it says Deontay Wilder says team Joshua are begging for the fight and he's laughing about it now for me this is confirmation that Joshua wanted the fight all along Deontay Wilder and his team made things very difficult almost impossible to get the fight made you know lots of people still going on about there's 50 million reasons why Anthony Joshua should have taken that fight but it's well known now that that money was coming from BT to be broadcast in the UK on BT Sports. Joshua couldn't fight on that network in the UK. He's contracted to Sky. So Shelley Finkel not willing to meet to negotiate a fight was effectively trying to hide the details. He wanted Anthony Joshua to accept the fight without knowing any terms. So really it was a bullshit offer. But anyway, as we know, both Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury at present are talking about the rematch, that's what they want, and it is quite likely to happen. But there's also another side of the story to look at both of these guys if they're smart they'll keep talking about the rematch and try and make it look like Anthony Joshua is left out in the lurch what this is effectively doing is pushing the price up for both of these guys for a potential fight against Anthony Joshua that's what it's doing think about it AJ's made it clear he wants the undisputed fight with Deontay Wilder Wilder's stock has gone up a little bit since fighting Fury so he's quite within his rights to want 40% plus I don't think he's within his rights to ask for 50% Tyson Fury also his stock has gone right back up after coming back and putting in a pretty damn good performance against Deontay Wilder when he wasn't at his best yet he's still coming back so his stock's gone up as well but Joshua's made it clear he'll fight either of them he would prefer Wilder for the undisputed fight it means a lot more to him he stated all along that's what his goal was to become undisputed heavyweight champion but I'll just about guarantee you Tyson Fury's got an offer on the table to fight Anthony Joshua as well Frank Warren and Eddie Hearn will be talking about percentages and deals and whatnot because it's also a, a huge fight nothing surprises me in boxing these days and the tactics that these guys use to push prices up for potential fights against the big dog and let's face it Anthony Joshua is still the big dog even though he's not being talked about a lot at the moment because he hasn't had anything going on since his last fight against Anthony uh, against Alexander Povetkin the big news has been the Fury Wilder fight and while it's fresh everybody's talking about it of course and now we've got a rematch to talk about as well but like I say in the background I'll guarantee both Wilder and Fury have got offers from Anthony Joshua. I wouldn't at all be surprised if one of them decides to take up that offer for April 13th. Not at all. And like I say, this talk of the rematch, that's all they want. It's a tactic and it's smart to push the price up from Team Joshua. I would like to see any of the fights I couldn't care less any of those three 
against each other. Wouldn't matter to me. They're all great fights. But I guess I would like to see an undisputed champion and then I would like to see a lineal champion fight after though after that. But either way around doesn't matter a shit to me. They're all great fights. But all I'm saying here is don't be surprised if we see AJ versus Fury or AJ versus Wilder or Wilder versus Fury. Doesn't matter. They're all good fights. Let's just enjoy what happens. I don't think anybody's afraid of any of those fights. I don't think anybody has been. I do think, however, Wilder's team have tried to be strategic about who they fight and when. They needed Wilder's stock to go up so they could push for more money against Anthony Joshua and that's exactly what they've done. So, All this talk of Anthony Joshua not wanting the fight over the last shit a year, it's all horseshit to me. So let us know your thoughts. I'd like to hear some opinions on who you think's going to actually fight early next year. Is it going to be Wilder Fury? Is it going to be AJ Wilder? Is it going to be AJ Fury? Let us know. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give me the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you in the next one. Big Boys Boxing, we out. See you. Zone Beats, boy.